There's a chill in here. Although it's just been put on the market, the apartment has been empty for quite a while. I thought we'd start with the kitchen. Do you usually begin by showing people the kitchen first? It's, it depends. On what? Whether the prospective buyer is a woman? On whether the prospective buyer has asked for pictures of the property beforehand. Oh. Did I ask for that? Um, n no, not specifically. How are you going to sell this apartment to me? What? I, I mean, pardon? I am looking for a sound investment and money is no object. In that case, madame, uh, let me show you the bespoke cupboards. I think you've got a nerve calling them bespoke cupboards. They sound very impractical and they're too high if you ask me. They're finished in oak melamine. They're not even real wood then? Well, we can't list everything. You haven't mentioned the cooker yet. It's a state-of-the-art oven and hob. State-of-the-art, eh? Just looks like a state to be. The woman who lived here before must have had no taste. And these? Red is the new black. Apparently, uh, red sofas is a new thing. Do you believe everything people tell you? Look, I I'm just trying to sell it to you. What kind of red would you say this is? Uh, I'm not good with colours. It's blood. It is an unusual colour. It's hideous. Is there a freezer and dishwasher included in the price? This is the dishwasher and uh, here is the fridge freezer. And going back to the oven and hob. Must we? Um, would you like to know the, uh, the, the power source for each of these? Not really. I don't cook. Don't cook? No. What does your boyfriend say about that? Not that it's any of your business, but I don't have a boyfriend. I'm not surprised. What was that? I said I'm surprised. Why do men always assume that every woman needs a man and enjoys cooking? That's a gender thing. Well, I detest cooking as much as I detest that blood red sofa. Don't you cook at all? Not if I can help it. There's always someone who'll take me for a meal. Will you be using this apartment for business purposes or residential? Both. Would you like to see the rest of the apartment now? Not really. I know what the rest of the place looks like. Oh yeah? You've seen the photos? Yes, that's it. I must have seen the photos. And? And it seems to be very expensive for what it is. It's the going rate for properties in this area. So what has this location got to offer someone like me? It, it's a highly sought after area. A highly sought after area? I noticed two other properties in this apartment blocks and they've been on market for the past year. Well, you have to take into account the Christmas period when the market doesn't move. Stylish apartments in a sought after area should have sold long ago. Well, as I said, the market fluctuates. So I was wondering why the adjacent apartments are for sale. I have no idea. But they are listed in your estate agent's list. I expect the owners wanted to move to a, a different area. Is it safe? Health and safety checks are done by our value when he inspects any of our properties. I meant the area. Is the area safe to walk through? Uh, uh, yes. To the best of my knowledge, it is safe. The last resident lived here for 15 years. Why did he move? They died. Here? In this apartment? Yes. So there might be a ghost? I don't believe in ghosts. No. You don't look the type. How did he die? Who? The previous owner. Them. Not one person then? No. Shall we have, go and have a look at the rest of the apartment? You haven't seen the bathrooms yet. Slow down a minute. When you mentioned the owner, you said them, plural. How many people lived here? Two. Um, Mr. and Mrs. O'Connor. And they both died in this apartment? Yes. It was in the newspapers. Was it? I don't live in this town. That's right. I forgot. You said something about moving here because of your job. That's right. I don't live in this area and I haven't seen the papers. How did I die?
They were murdered. Well, that puts a different slant on things. I thought it would. How were they murdered? You wouldn't want to know. I do. That's why I'm asking you. Police believe Mr. O'Connor's mistress was involved, but they had no evidence, and the bodies were never recovered. A crime of passion. A bloody murder. I'll take it. What? I said I'll take it. You want to buy this apartment? Yes, if you take it off the market straight away, I'll pay the asking price. What about the high shelves? I'll get a step ladder. And the blood red sofas? You said red was the new black. I can always change them when they come out of fashion. What about the murders? What about them? That doesn't put you off the place. No. You said the police suspected one of Richard O'Connor's mistresses? Mistress, singular. Um, according to rumours, you had one in every town. I expect he did. Travelling salesman, by all accounts. Charming his way over a woman's doorstep and into her bed. Quite. Have the bloodstains been cleaned up? Are you sure you want to buy the property? Perfectly sure. Earlier you mentioned a bloody murder. Just making sure that all the traces of the blood are gone. The bathroom has been thoroughly cleaned and, and completely redecorated. That's good. What was that? There must be a window open. It's either that or a ghost. I'll go and check the windows. I don't believe in ghosts. I do. Well, here I am again, Richard. I said I'd move in with you one day. 